And I'm Brad. And look, Brad, this week you're going to kick off with... This is the Yalumba Y-Series Sav Blanc. This one's the 2006, but that's only just come out. 2005 still around. This is Yalumba's cheaper series of wines, the, the Y-Series. And this Sav Blanc is an absolute bargain because we actually picked this up for under $8 a bottle. Would you believe? Uh, typical Sav Blanc characteristics. This is a great thing. It's not one of those rubbish cheap white wines you can get at that price. This one actually tastes like a Sav Blanc should. It's got nice tropical flavours, bit of passion fruit, that type of thing. Summer, it's almost finished, but it goes down really well with your, your fish dishes and things like that over summer. So it's the Yalumba Y Series Sav Blanc. Great little wine. Yeah, you're not going to go too far wrong spending $8 on a bottle of wine, that's for sure. Look, the next one we're going to have a look at is from the Rutherglen, the, uh, the guys at Campbell's. Uh, they produce this, the Bobby Boone Shiraz. Look, if you're heading up to Rutherglen for a drink, most people are thinking of their stickies, their fortifieds, tokays, muskets, vintage ports. They do them absolutely brilliantly, possibly the best region in the world for these fortifieds. But that doesn't mean that some of these guys aren't producing very, very good table wines. Campbell's Bobby Boone Shiraz is a case in point. Look, lots of big black currant, blackberry sort of flavours in there, even some roasted stone fruit, which is kind of uh, unusual in something that's under $20. Mm. So look, do yourself a favour, don't just think of Rutherglen as only for those big stickies, try some of their table wines and look, give the Bobby Burns a go. Yeah, it is great to see some good table wines coming out of the Rutherglen region as well. Mm. I'm going to finish this week looking at the Zima Estate Coonawarra Cab Sav. This is another 2004 Cabernet coming out of Coonawarra. We've talked about it before. The Cabernets coming out of the Coonawarra from 2004 are all fantastic. And this is quite possibly one of the best value ones going around. We just picked this up for under $19 a bottle. And that's uh, around the country. You can find it at that price in a few retailers at the moment. It represents amazing value. It's true uh, Cabernet style. You've got sort of the black currant flavours. Uh, and there's sort of some hints of some savoury characters in this one as well. But it is quite an elegant wine too. You wouldn't expect that in a wine under $20 a bottle. They also make their top of the line family selection Cabernet, which is fantastic. But this one, absolute bargain. So it's the Zima Estate. Goes well with some lamb, like most Cabernets do. 2004 Kunawara Cab Sav, get onto it. Yeah, look, there's some great 04 Cab Savs. If you put this up against the Penley, the Magella that we've reviewed in the last couple of weeks, geez, you'd have a lot of fun trying to work out which one's your favourite. You really would. So, look, this week we had a look at uh, the Yalumba Y Series Sav Blanc. The uh, Bobby Burns Shiraz from Campbell's. And yet another brilliant 04 Coonawarra in the Zima Estate. So, look, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week on Wine Week. See you next week.